Lita Barova, the famous Czech-Austrian actress, was born in Prague on 7 September 1914. She received her first movie role at the age of 17. In three years' time she became one of the most celebrated actresses in Czechoslovakia. At age 20, after winning a contest at the prestigious German film and television production company, UFA, Barova left Prague for Berlin. Her first German movie, Barcarol, was a success. She played along Gustav Froelich, and the two fell in love with one another. They became engaged and moved together in a new home on the outskirts of Berlin. On the Schwanenrader Island, only one neighbor was more famous than this power couple. His name was Joseph Goebbels. Adolf Hitler's right hand played a decisive role in German film production, and was controlling UFA with an iron fist. When he first met Lita Barova, upon visiting her fiancé's home in 1936, Goebbels was instantly smitten. Famous for the affairs he had with the actresses whose movie roles he was controlling, Goebbels pursued Barova, and they began having an affair. Pressed by Goebbels' wooing and drunk with his intoxicating power, the Czech beauty entered a dangerous relationship that lasted over two years. But unlike many of the previous affairs Goebbels had, this one was special. Goebbels fell deeply in love with Barova, and contemplated leaving his wife, Magda, for her. This caused serious friction between him and his wife, and when the club-footed dwarf-like Goebbels began flaunting his mistress in public, the doom was near. Magda Goebbels confessed everything to Hitler, who had a deep admiration for this mother of six beautiful children. To Hitler, Magda was the purest ideal of German motherhood, an example he wanted to instill in all German women. On 16 August 1938, Hitler summoned his Minister of Propaganda. He ordered him to cease his affair with Barova immediately. For Barova, it was the beginning of a lifelong string of misfortunes. She was prohibited from performing on Hitler's direct order. Her recently completed movie was banned in theaters and not shown until 1950. She was forbidden from leaving Germany or continue her acting career. She was constantly followed by the Gestapo, Hitler's secret police, and banned from making public appearances. Under constant harassment by the Nazis, Barova gathered her strength and fled back to Prague. But her hometown was no longer welcoming.